Hey, just think about it. Pronoun in our military. How do you identify in our military? This is war times. What happened to push-ups? What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Herschel Walker is trying to play into the worst habits of the right wing by attacking transgender people in our military. Because I can tell you right now, China, Iran, and Russia not talking about pronouns. It's time for us to wake up. First of all, I'm so sick of seeing these cowards and frauds use any language against our military when they turn around and vote down comprehensive and beneficial legislation to help our people when they come home. It's sickening. It's disgraceful. And they only use people in uniform as a gotcha point. They do not care about the health or livelihood of military personnel once they are done doing the work for them. The people on the left did it. They took us down in that elevator, got us to defund our police. We shouldn't have never defunded our police. They got us right now believing that we can bring wokeness into our military. We should never bring wokeness into our military. The greatest lethal fighting force ever assembled in our United States military. Secondly, this dude doesn't have a clue what he is talking about. He's reading talking points right out of a Fox News teleprompter. And they're bringing wokeness into our military. And then, since you've gotten a little bit too smart, you don't fall for it. You don't let them take you in that elevator. So they're going to take your kids now. They're going to take your kids down now because they want to tell the white kids you're an oppressor. They want to tell the black kids you're a victim. No, all of them are victorious. The myth of the boogeyman exists in all of his points. The scary left, the woke military, the transgender people, the defunded police, none of it is real. It's all a fictional story written to terrify the right into believing that people like Herschel Walker can save them from their fears. Transgender people in our military are held to the same standards of physical capability and honor that any other person is, and that is how it should be. They aren't getting any special treatment or being put up on a pedestal. They are enlisting and serving in the military. Their job is to support the military, and the military as of 2021 has put policy in place to help aid servicemen and women in their transition. Their pronouns are just words, and if someone higher ranking than you calls you a worm, then that's what you'll go by if the Mission depends on it. Pronouns will not be the downfall of the United States military, but toxic rhetoric against people in the armed forces surely will. People in uniform experience crimes of sexual assault and discrimination, and none of it is okay because it impedes on the task at hand, defending this country. Again, anyone serving must be deemed physically and mentally capable of doing their job, period. Next, the police are not defunded, and I don't really know what that has to do with the military, unless Walker wants to open up a discussion on the militarization of the police in low-income and mainly black communities. Nobody has completely stripped funding from a police department. In fact, in cities like New York, the police saw an additional $200 million allocated to their department, so they got more money, not less. But the myth still stands because defund the police was used as an immediate win for the GOP. Defund being easier out of mouth than reallocate funds to different programs that would have helped ease the burden on police departments for calls like mental health distress and trained sexual assault professionals working in difficult cases. Finally, the word woke has been so co-opted that anything the right disagrees with gets slapped with the word and all of the Fox News regulars get to turn their noses up at it. Ask a MAGA fan what woke really is. Ask him to describe it to you. They can't. Why? Because the word has no real meaning whatsoever. It was diluted from online meme culture into what it is now, a favorite phrase of the right wing trying to stoke fears and tensions over the other. Walker knows all of this, however, but uses it like any other member of the MAGA cult and feeds lines into the crowd starving for their bias to be affirmed. We see right through it, but we better make sure that they know come November. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.